Who is this man with a mustache? It's the same man I always am. It's curling over your lip. I hate that. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Do we tell them? What? Well, I guess they already know because they clicked on the video. We're moving again! Surprise! Are you excited? Yeah. You look thrilled. Welcome back to my channel, guys. My name is Kyra. If this is your first video you're clicking on, this is a very random one, but we're gonna take it, we're gonna run with it. I make videos all about Chicago, apartments, some Trader Joe's. It is a really great time, and if you haven't hit that big red subscribe button, you're gonna wanna hit it. But exciting news, we are moving once again. I get the comment decently often of being like, how the hell do you have so many different apartments? It feels like you move every other month. We're kind of right at this point. <laughs> It's been a bit of a whirlwind of like how much we've moved since we moved to Chicago. We had our first apartment with that lease on a 15 month lease and then 11 months into it, this uh, pandemic hit. And so we moved out of that apartment and then moved to New York with Alex's family. Four months later, moved back to Chicago and moved into a different apartment because our lease was up there and stayed in that one for a full 12 month duration. That lease ended, we moved into our current apartment, which we do really, really love and we were really happy to be here. But we got it on a really crazy COVID special and it was only for a six month lease. So it was time to look for apartments again. Are you sad we're leaving this one? Not necessarily. We're getting a really nice apartment for our next apartment. We're very excited. So our lease is up here in January. We were starting to kind of dabble with the idea of where we were going to go. We did look into staying in our current apartment because we do really, really like it. But the renewal rate, if you're not aware, I am a leasing agent. I work for Compass. And so my literal full-time job is I help people find apartments. That being said, if you are looking for an apartment, let me know. I would love to help you. But I know the market of apartments really, really well. I know what prices apartments should be going for really, really well. So when I got our renewal here and I was like, ah, no, <laughs> and they weren't really willing to negotiate with me on it, we did at that point decide to go look into some different options. I was not planning at looking at this building at all. It wasn't even in an area I was really considering. But long story short, we are moving back to what neighborhood? River North. <laughs> <laughs> We're moving back to River North. That is the neighborhood that we lived in when we first moved to Chicago. It's where our previous two apartments were. We really, really, really love River North. We live in the loop right now and we would have been happy to stay in the loop. It works really well for what we do because we use the transit system so often. However, this unit opened up in River North that I had zero intentions of looking at, but it was perfect and it was beautiful and it was for a really good price point and a really good deal. And so it all kind of happened in a whirlwind. Long story short, I was working in the office with some of my fellow agents and one of them was looking on the website and was like, oh my gosh, one of these units popped back up for this insane price. One of you guys has to have a client who will take it. And I was like, I want to take it and then she had a video on her phone of the unit and I looked at it and I was like oh my gosh I think I want to take this and so Alex was to come meet me for lunch and I literally like called him and I was like I want us to go tour a building and as he walked up I was like on phone with the leasing agent and I was just like hey can I come now and so long story short we went and we loved it and we applied and we got accepted and we're moving and long story short Maven always has their ear to the streets I know if you're looking for an apartment I'm telling you me and my girls we got you we know all of the best deals and we will jump on them because that was a really Deal. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you the empty apartment tour and we'll tell you all the things we're so excited about it. All right, so right when you enter, there is a bathroom. It is a two bath. It is not a one bath, it is a two bath, which is really mostly exciting because there's a bathtub in this one and we don't have a bathtub in our current apartment and we never have. So more than like the fact that like we won't use separate bathrooms, really it'll probably be like a guest bathroom and used for a lot of storage. But the fact that there's a bathtub I can use and it's not my like every single day like shower bathtub because I hate cleaning those is glorious and I'm very excited. There is also an entryway hall closet, which is amazing. If you've ever toured with me, which I'm sure some of you watching this video have because I found a lot of you apartments, you'll see I typically always point out coat closets and how important they are. When you're living in Chicago, you really do need a coat closet because when it's snowing and all salty on the ground outside from the ice, you will want a coat closet because your coats are gonna come home all wet and mucky and your shoes will be all salty and they leave little salty footprints and it's just really disgusting. So having a coat closet is amazing so that way you don't have to put that wet coat in the closet with the rest of your stuff like we had to when we lived in our studio apartment. It's doable, but having a coat closet is just so much better. Then moving right along, this is our den second bedroom. It's considered a junior two bed because really this room can fit a full queen size bed, but it doesn't have any windows. It doesn't have its own closet unless you consider the coat closet. So that's why it's a junior, but it's a really good amount of space and I'm very excited. We are going to build this out to be like a guest room as well as Alex's office area. Right now we work right next to 
each other. It works fine. It's not a huge issue, but there are times when we're both on calls and one of us will need to go into the bedroom. This will be a really cool way to be able to have us have a little bit more separated space, a little bit more separated workspace, and just like so much more storage in there, which will be really great. And I'm just very, very excited. It'll also be really nice because when he plays video games at night, he can go ahead in there, close the door, and I can stay in the living room and watch TV and not have to listen to him yelling at his friends about Rocket League while I'm watching The Bachelorette. This is the kitchen and she is beautiful and glorious and filled with storage and I am so excited. Our current kitchen has served us well, but the storage in it is a nightmare and I literally have stuff shoved in every single nook and cranny and anytime I open any of my cabinets, stuff just start falling out. So I'm very excited for this kitchen. This living room is huge. It is so much bigger than our current place. And then we have this bedroom. Everything's floor to ceiling windows. It faces south so we get really beautiful light all day long, which I'm very excited for. A walkthrough closet, which Stephanie, my partner, called a money closet, which I just think is really fun. And then our bathroom is so pretty with, again, the standing shower. The other thing about this that I am so excited for is we have a balcony and we've never had a balcony before. And honestly, I used to talk really badly about people who were really high up on their list and so they'd only live places with balconies because I was like, you're not even going to use a balcony. But look, after living for four years in apartments and not having access to go outside as much as I would like to, I am so pumped for a balcony. I've realized I am someone who, especially living in Chicago and when the weather is nice, I want to be outside 24 seven, I just do. And now the fact that I can take my laptop and go sit on our balcony and enjoy the sun, especially with south facing, so I'll be able to be in the sun is gonna be amazing. Not to mention my puppy dog, Louie, is going to love napping out there and it's really pretty and it's really private on that side. We back up to like a private gated community so it's not like we're gonna have like a lot of like street passers by or things It's just it's so pretty and the view is beautiful and I'm just I'm so excited for it I know I'm not gonna be able to enjoy that balcony for like seven more months But the day I do and I can take my cup of coffee and my laptop out there and answer emails there in the morning is gonna be amazing Also, I don't know if you can hear it right now But there's like car alarms going off and we can hear the train and so many ambulances and stuff where we're at right now So just for a filming aspect alone our new unit is gonna be a lot quieter It's just a little bit more set back than like we're right in the hustle and muscle of being downtown here. And for videos, I'm also really, really excited about that. Like, look, I'm not like a huge manifestation person. Let's just start with that. But because I look at apartments literally all day, every single day, I had my like dream wish list of what I would want in an apartment building. And I found an apartment with a perfect unit for me that literally has everything. The things that I was like really dead set on wanting was a pool. My current building doesn't have a pool and there are pools that I can use in the city because I can go to one of our sister properties and use the pool there. But it's such a pain in the butt to like have to pack your bag and then like get on the train and go to a very different part of the city to go use the pool. The fact that the pool is going to be in the building and I can just like throw my laptop and my tote bag and flip flops and just shuffle on down to the pool and work from there for a while is going to be amazing. Like I I'm an outdoor person. I'm excited to be outside in the sun forever at this building. The other thing was a Peloton. I really, really wanted a Peloton and I know that probably sounds like boohoo, go sit on a bike. No, I wanted a Peloton. I see them all the time and I'm so excited and this building has Pelotons and I finally get to use them and I cannot wait. Another thing, dog run, that was like a non-negotiable for me. Like I won't live somewhere that doesn't have a dog run just because when we take Louie out at night, especially it's, what time is it? It's 5.12 and it's been dark for like an hour. And so when it gets dark super early in winter time, it is really important to me on a safety aspect. Like I don't want to take my dog to the street. I just want to be able to go to a dog run. So that was something really important and has a hot tub and Alex wanted a hot tub. All the things, I'm just so excited. So we are going to be moving our leases unfortunately do overlap a little bit so we have a little bit less than a month to kind of get all of our stuff over there i think what we're going to do is kind of like move our stuff over a little bit more slowly i will probably be vlogging the whole entire thing but i think we're going to borrow some friends cars and move like a lot of our smaller stuff and then hire clutter which is what we used for our last move and have them come and do our bigger items um, i would have them do all of it but honestly like our move time frame is all right around the holidays and it just sounds like a lot of chaos to try and do it all in one go so i think the fact that we have the time we're just going to kind of move things a little bit slower and like then have one day for our bigger furniture to come in it just sounds easier that being said if you are looking for movers in the city i have a discount code for clutter so i'll pop that up on the screen but they are my favorite movers they were absolutely freaking phenomenal and last time they worked for us it was in the dead of summer and they were very sweaty and very kind and never complained once and they were just really really amazing so yeah that's it i'm very excited i hope you guys are excited we have to get like a decent amount of like different furniture and then sell some of our furniture from this place too just like we have a kitchen 
kitchen island in there so we're gonna be selling our kitchen island possibly the bar stools because i think that one holds four bar stools and we only have two lots of different things there's so many moving parts but i can't wait i'm really really excited so can't wait to take you guys along i can't wait to move in there i can't wait to show you what it's like but we'll be moving out of this apartment in like a month if you like this video and you like me and you're just excited with me please give it a thumbs up as always it just really shows me what kind of content you guys like and i'm pretty sure you guys like apartment content but let me know if you have any questions about anything feel free to comment down below i will not disclose my actual building just as like a safety aspect but you can always shoot me a dm and i'm happy to talk to you and like i said i am a leasing agent for compass so i am super happy to help you find your apartment i have helped a bunch of you and it's been so much fun so my team and i are ready to hit the ground running whenever one of you guys is looking for an apartment and as always hit that big red subscribe button i post three videos a week and i would love for you to follow along thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time Welcome back to my channel. If I look like I look like Wario. <laughs> Please insert photo of Wario. Photo of Wario here. Uh, you do, and that's terrifying. Short. We are moving back to what neighborhood? Oh, you're telling them all this? <laughs> wow, you're flexible. <laughs>